Guys, let me ask you a question. Now, why do so many people have a failing cold calling system and they can't seem to implement something that works when it comes to cold calling motivated sellers using virtual assistants? I'm gonna give you the answer in today's video. But before we do, guys, let's talk about the trend, right? The trend from direct mail into cold calling. It's because of speed to lead. You can get there faster and it's a lot easier to do. In fact, if you do it right, it's lower cost as well. Now, I have another video in this channel somewhere. Go check it out. The difference between direct mail and using virtual assistants to cold call homeowners. And let's talk about on the board behind me because this is so important this is why I see so many of you fail and procrastinate because you're trying to track down someone that doesn't exist and since you're having a hard time finding them you try to set the strategy up you look and you try and then you back off because it's taking too much time you need to stop looking for the invisible uh, unicorn person out there I guess you can say this is what people are looking for <clears throat> How do I support this statement? Because I have you guys contact my office all the time. Almost every single week I have people contact me and say, do you have a real estate trained virtual assistant? Do you have a, a cold calling trained virtual assistant? Do you have a, someone that's cold call trained and real estate trained to cold call leads for us? No, they're very rare and they almost don't exist unless you train them on your own. So people are trying to ask way too much from the virtual assistant. Guys, these individuals, unless they have worked for another company for years, they're not gonna have training in real estate. Unless you want someone trained with real estate, you're gonna to have to train them. They don't exist. Now, there are certain companies trying to bring virtual assistants in and train them with the basics for real estate, but they're very few, uh, very few and far between. Now, this is what you need to understand. They don't need to be trained on real estate whatsoever, and they don't need to be trained on cold calling whatsoever to do what you need to do. And if you understand that, you just opened it up to almost everyone out there that's a virtual assistant that has basic communication skills over the phone. You don't need a superstar, you just need a person that you can have work with you to help set the appointment to the future call, not the house appointment. And this is the big problem. Most people are trying to have their virtual assistant take a seller intake form, take mortgage information, repair information, or you want to sell the house, all this unneeded information at this present moment in time. You're gonna need a lot of this information, but you don't need the virtual assistant to get this information. The one goal for the virtual assistant should be to see if they need to sell the house. Basic info, are you open to selling? When are you looking to sell and how much? That is it. All they're trying to do is find out if this person is ready to sell the house. Really, that's the only question. To be honest, they should only ask, are you, need, are you willing to sell the house right now? Are you trying to sell the house? If so, they need to redirect them to the office. This is to you, if you're a solopreneur running your business all on your own, or this is to your acquisition person. They don't need to go through one of these long seller intake forms that some ripoff gurus uh, sold you when, they, when you bought their expensive guru class. I promise you guys, people are not doing this unless they've trained their virtual assistants for years and they're up to doing this. One of the biggest reasons you're losing money is you're paying these individuals to call these leads and they're taking to, the, the person they're calling understands they know nothing about real estate. Would you work with someone who you could tell knows nothing about real estate? Their number one goal, guys, is to get the appointment set to the future call, not house appointment. They're gonna ask these basic questions. You know, I was reaching out to you basically in any different ways they wanna phrase this, but basically they're trying to get to, are you open to selling the house? Once you get this, now they're gonna send that lead to you. Where, when are you looking to sell? Get some basic information, because if they sell it, say right now I'm willing to sell, that's a more motivated lead. If they say, hey, I'm just looking to sell, I'm trying to see what I can get, they're not so motivated. So your VA can track them by motivation level, <clears throat> and then just simply ask them, if you were to get an all cash offer and we were to help you sell the property quickly, any of those scripts that you guys have looked at, I'm not gonna give you some right now, but just simply, are you willing to sell the house and how much, basically? This is really all the information you need. To be honest, all you really need is basic step one. Then your virtual assistant gets it to you or your acquisition company, and then you go through and handle the time, the time consuming part and where the money is made, which is the communication process between you and the seller. This is when the closer comes in who has communication skills, who also understands real estate, who also understands all these things that matter. Is it low equity, high equity, you know, time frames, things like that. If you're trying to have this person do this, it's too much because if you're looking for this person, they don't exist, but these people are everywhere. Someone to go down the list that you give them, call to see if they're motivated to sell, are they open to sell, and if not, you know, put them in another follow-up system to contact later, but if they are, you don't want that virtual assistant doing anything more than setting the appointment for someone who is skilled, and that's the big breakdown. I hope I'm making this clear. Most people are trying to have the virtual assistant do all the upfront work and set the house appointment and just tell them the time to go out there. You're, you're putting too much on there. They should be just setting the call appointment to the real acquisition person that does have the skill sets, that does have the communication skills, that does have the background, background real estate and, and how to explain what you're doing with that seller.
You're going to find this person tonight if you look. This person may never be found. And that's why, why you're not getting your business up and going because if you're looking for someone that's difficult to find, you're going to put a little bit of effort in it. You're not going to find them. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to back off and you're going to procrastinate. And tomorrow is always tomorrow. And you're never going to find the day uh, that you find this individual. So guys, just go find someone who can basic has basic communication skills, <clears throat> who can just set the appointment, and then you take all the calls or you take all those numbers and you reach out to that person to talk to them yourself or have someone on your team do this when you know they're ready to sell. That is it, guys. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but this is the big difference between people that are getting successful cold calling centers up and going quickly and those who are struggling to find someone because if you can't find someone, you're never going to do it. You're never going to find them and you're going to have too much time chasing. It's just procrastination, procrastination, procrastination. I hope you like this video, guys. Share and subscribe. Like, uh, like the video. Comment below, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.